Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Pabli. In this video we are going to learn how to share blogger posts to Facebook automatically. So let's take an example that you are a blogger who is creating new posts on your blogger account on a frequent basis and even you have a community on Facebook who is following you. Now you want that whenever you create a new post in your blogger account automatically the same post should be shared with your community on Facebook page also. So what you are doing is whenever you create a new post in your blogger account you use the blog link and you share it on your Facebook page so that your community can visit it. But this is a time consuming and a repetitive process. What if, if we do an automation by which whenever you are going to create a new post in your blogger account automatically the same post will be shared on your Facebook pages also which is going to save you a lot of time and energy. But here the problem is that there is no direct connection between blogger and Facebook. So in order to create a connection we will be using a software application that is Pabli Connect. So basically Pabli Connect is an automation and integration software which will help us in integrating blogger with Facebook automatically. The best part here is it doesn't require any coding skills or programming knowledge. Even a non-technical person can use this software application very easily. So how we are going to set up this automation? For that you need to come to my screen. So welcome back to my screen. Here let us type P-A-B-B-L-Y, pabli.com in our browser. This is the website of Pabli. Here we have to come to products and click on Pabli Connect. This is the landing page of Pabli Connect. As you are the first time user, you have to click on sign up for free option and you can create your own account in just 2 minutes. And you are going to get 100 tasks free every month. As I already have an account with Pabli Connect, I will simply click on sign in. In the all app section, come to Pabli Connect and click on access now. This is the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Here we have to create a workflow. For that come to this plus sign and click on create workflow. Now here we have to give a name to the workflow. So let us give the name as blogger to Facebook integration. Here you can give the workflow name as per your requirement and simply click on create. Now we can see a trigger window and an action window. So Pabli Connect works on the concept of trigger and action. Trigger means when this happens, action means do this. So in this use case, we want that whenever we create a new post in our blogger account, the same post should be shared on our Facebook page also. So just open this trigger window and let us choose the application name as blogger or Google blogger over here. Select the trigger event as new post added. Click on connect. Click on add new connection and click on connect with Google blogger. Now it is asking me to choose an account to continue to Pabli Connect Blogger. So I am just going to choose my account from here. And now it is asking Pabli Connect Blogger wants additional access to your Google account. So let's scroll down and click on continue and give away the access as the data is 100% safe with Pabli Connect. Authorization successful and now the Google Blogger account is connected to Pabli Connect. Now here we have to select our blog ID. So I'll just take you to my blogger account and here you can find my blog ID as my blog. So I will be selecting the same blog ID over here that is my blog. Here you have to select your blog ID. Now here we have to select the status only live, only draft or only scheduled. So I want that whenever the post is live on my Google blogger account then only the post should be shared on my Facebook page also. So I'm just selecting the status as only live. You can select it as per your requirement. Now before clicking on save and send test request, first we are going to create a new post in our blogger account. Just because after clicking on this option, it is going to capture the latest response. So let's move to the blogger account and here I am just going to click on this plus sign new post to create a new post. Here we have to enter the title. So I have entered the title as important of exercise over here and I am just going to enter the description. So I have added a random description over here. And along with this title and the description, I want an image to be uploaded on my post. So I'm just going to upload it from my system. Okay, and I'm just going to select the exercise image from here. Let's click on select. Here we can adjust the size of the image. Okay. And now let's click on publish. Publish post. This will publish this post to your blog. Let's click on confirm. 
Okay, and here we can see that a new post is published on our blogger account. Now let's move back to Public Connect and now we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request. Okay, and here we can see the responses received and all the details related to the new post are captured over here. We can find the blog ID, we can find the published date and time and when we scroll down here we can find the title as importance of exercise. Here we can find the content also. Along with that we can find the image URL and here we have got the blogger URL also. Okay. Now here I want to give you an important information that here you can see that the data has captured immediately. But sometimes it may take some time in fetching the data as the trigger here is polling based. And if your data doesn't get captured immediately, don't worry about that. Please wait for 15-20 minutes patiently, the data will surely arrive. Okay. Now here we can see that we have got the content or the description in the HTML format over here. Okay. So we want the description to be retrieved from this particular HTML content. For that, let's scroll down, come to this plus sign and click on add actions step and choose the application name as data transformer over here. Select the action event as strip HTML tags. Click on connect. Now it is connected. Now here we have to give the encoded string. So we have to map the content over here that we have got from the trigger response. So let's scroll down and here we will be mapping the content from Google Blogger. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. And here in the response we have got only the description. So now we want to share this particular post on our Facebook pages also. But there can be two conditions that the post may contain an image and the post does not contain an image. For that we have to apply the routers over here to specify both the conditions. So let's click on this plus sign add action step. And here we are going to choose the application name as routers. And here we have got two routes, route 1 and route 2. So I am just going to click on this three dots and click on rename. So we are going to rename this route 1 as image present in the content. Okay, and let's click on update. And I am going to rename the second route also. And this time I am just going to give the root as image absent in the content. Okay. And let's click on update. So we have named both the roots image present in the content and image absent in the content. Now we are going to set the filter and action steps for both these roots. So let's click on this reset filter and action steps button. And here uh, we are going to specify the if condition. If this happens then what needs to be done. So here we are going to select the label from Google Blogger. And the label will be image 0 URL. If the image exist is existing in the post, then what needs to be done? Click on save and send test request. And here we have got the status as success message condition is true. Just because we have got the image in the post over here. So the condition is true. Now we want to share this post on Facebook page also. For that click on this plus sign add action step. Choose the application name as Facebook Pages. Select the action event as Create Page Photo. Click on Connect. Click on Add New Connection and click on Connect with Facebook Pages. Authorization successful. Okay, now the Facebook Pages are connected to Public Connect just because I was already logged into my Facebook account. So make sure before creating a connection, you are logged into your Facebook account. Now here we have to select the page name. So I have already created some Facebook pages. And this is one of the Facebook page name Fit Body Gym. So I want all my blogger posts to be shared on this particular page name Fit Body Gym. So I will be selecting the same page name over here also. Okay, Fit Body Gym. Now the page access token is automatically captured. So we are not going to make any changes. Now it is asking for the photo URL. So here we will be mapping the photo URL from Google Blogger and here we have got the image 0 URL. This is the photo URL. Now here it is asking for the description. So in the description I will be mapping the title that we have got from blogger response and along with the title I will be mapping the blog URL also. Okay, this one. So we have entered all the details. We have entered the photo URL over here. We have mapped it and even we have mapped the description, the title as well as the blog URL. Okay. And now let's click on save and send test request. 
Okay, and here we can see the responses received. It means the post is shared on our Facebook page also. Let's check it. We have to just refresh our Facebook page. And when we scroll down, here we can find the title as importance of exercise. Here we can find our image. And here we can find the blog URL also. So we have clicked on the blog URL and we are redirected to our blog URL over here on our blogger account. And in this way, the first route is ready. Let's click on done. Now we are going to set the second route. That is if image is absent in the content, then what needs to be done? So let's click on set filter and action steps. And here we are going to set the if condition filter. Select the label as image zero URL from Google blogger. Okay, if the image does not exist, if, if image does not exist, then check the condition. Let's click on save and send test request. And this time in the status, we have got the error message condition is false just because in the post, the image was existing. But in the real time, it will work correctly. Okay, now we want to share it on Facebook pages. Let's click on this plus sign add action step. And choose the application name as Facebook pages. In the action event, we have to select create page post. Click on connect. Click on select existing connection just because we have recently created a connection and click on save. And now we are connected with Facebook pages. Now again, I need to select the page name, the Facebook page name that is Fit Body Gym. In my case, you have to select your Facebook page name. Page access token is automatically captured. I'm not going to make any changes. That is asking for the message. So in the message, I will be mapping the title that is important of exercise. And here in the link URL, I'll be mapping the blogger link. Okay, the blog link that is the URL. And now let's click on save. Data saved successfully. Okay, now let's click on done. So we have set both the routes that if the image is present in the content, then what needs to be done? And if the image is absent in the content, then what needs to be done? So now let us check this in the real time that whether our integration is actually working fine or not. For that, I'll move to my uh, blogger account once again. And here we are going to just create a new post. So here I have entered the title as food and nutrition. And I'm just going to add the description over here. So I've added a random description. Okay, I'll just remove the extra space. Okay, and now let's click on publish. Publish post. This will publish this post to your blog. Okay, let's click on confirm. So the post is published on our blogger account and in this particular post we have not added any image okay now let's move to our facebook pages we have to just refresh our facebook page let's scroll down okay and here we can see that even after refreshing we can't find the blogger post shared over here just because i have already informed you that the trigger here is polling based and it will take time to capture the response so we have to wait for some time so now after four to five minutes, I'm just going to refresh my page once again. Let's scroll down. Okay, and here we can see that a post is shared over here, but we haven't got any image over here. And the title is food and nutrition. And here we have got the blog post URL also. So let's check the URL. Okay, and here we can see that we are redirected to our blogger account and here we can find the title and its description so in this way we can see that our integration is perfectly working fine so let's move back to public connect and i'll just minimize all these windows and let us see in a nutshell whatever we have done till now okay so first we have created an integration between google blogger and public connect then public connect has captured all the details of the new post that you have created into your blogger account then we have used data transformer just because the description was captured in the HTML tag format. So we have just uh, extracted the description from the HTML tags. And at last we have set the router steps over here that if the image exists in the blogger post, then what needs to be done? Then the post should be shared on the Facebook page along with the image. And if the image is not there in the uh, blogger post, then only the title and its description should be posted on your Facebook page. And in this way, we have learned that how we can create an integration between Google Blogger and Facebook pages using Public Connect. So not just these software applications, you can integrate a ton of applications and automate your business using Public Connect. In case of any queries, you can visit our Public Forum. To check the pricing details of Public Connect, you can visit this particular URL. 
Also, the link of Pabli Connect and this workflow is available in the description box. You can clone the same workflow into your account directly. If you really like this video, please comment, share and subscribe. Thank you everyone.